Hello! In this video we are going to discuss and reveal things to think about when you're trying to decide which is the best iPhone or iPad for a visually impaired person. Sound interesting to you? I bet we let you in on a little secret that you may not be aware of. Check this out. Hello and welcome to the Legally Blind Geek YouTube channel. My name is Mike and as promised in this video we are going to discuss the advantages and the disadvantages or how to choose or the questions to ask iPhone or iPad and more importantly which iPhone which iPad best suits the needs for a visually impaired person. Now I kind of like my 14 Pro Max and for the reasons we'll discuss here in a little bit, in addition to that, where a larger screen comes into play, especially for myself. And for that, I rely on the iPad Pro. I like the 12.9 the inch version, but the wife, don't tell her I said this, she probably's not gonna watch this video. So as we get a little bit older, myself, I'm legally blind. My, my dear wife, she kind of has some issues with some age-related vision loss. So, she likes to do a lot of e-readers. So, she downloads a lot of books from Amazon and other places. And she likes to use her iPad 11-inch as an e-reader. And she prefers it over her Kindle for connectivity. And across the ecosystem with Apple, you know, you can start something one place and transfer it to another place a lot simpler than you can trying to mix and match some of the, you know, Android devices with Apple devices. For whatever reason, a lot of times Amazon and Apple, they just don't play nice. Go figure. Why would they do that? But anyway, one of the common things that I hear people talk about especially my older friends, is that Apple products are just way too expensive. They cost way too much. I can go and get a really good deal from wherever, whomever, on whatever the flavor of the month is that they're trying to give away. I understand that. I fell victim to that myself, but we're, I don't want to get too far off into the weeds here. This is about Apple products. If you like Android, fantastic. There's a lot of really good Android products out there. But for a visually impaired person such as myself and my dear wife who has a little bit of that age-related low vision stuff going on, she, she can't see to read the cookbook if she doesn't have her contacts or her glasses on. Okay? And trying to read uh, prescriptions or, or not prescriptions, that's a topic for another video. Recipes is what I was trying to get at. I guess that could be a prescription. Depends on if you got to have, you know, a cake or brownies or something, you know, for your well-being. I guess in that case, prescription. But anyway, on this small screen, she's got a 14 Pro Max as well. She can't read the text unless it's like right in her nose. And yes, she could go in, she could adjust the text size to a larger size and maybe even make it bold. But then what happens on the small screen on the iPhone, even the iPhone Max, Pro Max, is the text is so large that you have to do a lot of scrolling to be able to see what it actually says because the uh, characters, the text takes up so much space, so much real estate on the iPhone screen. So for those purposes, then the iPad, for me it's the 12.9 inch, oh, let me turn it this way, it's the 12.9 inch. For my wife, she likes the 11 inch because 11 inch is easier for her to hold in her hand and she can zoom it in enough to where she can see what is what with her favorite recipes and still has plenty of screen real estate on this versus this so she can see to read the text 
And uh, no, voiceover is not going to work for my dear wife. She can't understand it. She doesn't like it. It talks too fast or it talks too slow or she just rather read the text herself. So for that, iPad is a better choice. Another thing that I often hear people complain about is the expense. I may have mentioned that a little bit earlier, but one of the things a lot of people are hesitant to try are the renewed, refurbished, secondhand used, whatever descriptor that you like to use. On Amazon, they call them renewed items. Now, whether those were things that were traded in or those are things that were sent in or replaced under warranty or whatever, I don't know. I don't know that anybody does. If you do, please give me a shout out. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are. But anyway, the point being is you don't have to have the latest and the greatest shiny object. You know, whatever the flagship phone is or iPad is that's recently released, may not be in your budget. However, if you go into Amazon and you look for some renewed items, they're straight from, generally a lot of them are from the Apple store and get a really good deal on an iPad or an iPhone. As a matter of fact, this is a, an old iPad Pro that is a 2015 version. She still works. She still gets updates from Apple, you know, the security updates and all that kind of stuff. But I guess you could say a downside to this one is the battery life has kind of gone kaput and I don't really want to spend the money on putting a new battery in it. So I just plug in the old lightning cable. I've got a lightning cable that is six or eight feet long that I can plug into a charger, plug into that little dude and it works just fine. Why do I mention that? You can, I saw one of those, well, I'll just post a link down below in the description on how reasonably priced that device is. And it'll get you into an iPad so you can take advantage of it. Or, you know, the missus, if you're in a situation like mine, the missus can actually uh, pull up her uh, recipes or we'll just call them prescriptions, okay? Because we all have that sweet tooth and we got to get our sugar fix, right? So it makes us feel better, right? Prescription. Anyway, using a renewed item is a really good way to save money. And you find the device that has the features that you need. Yeah, you see with the camera bump there, it's a good size camera bump. It'll do really good for grandma, grandpa, or mom or dad that wants to take some videos of their kids. Works really well. You just hold it. As a matter of fact, I see a lot of coaches at softball games using just an iPad. You don't have to have the latest and greatest one with the M1, M2, or whatever processor, although it does help. And you save some money. You get the screen size. And the screen resolution, I haven't really seen a lot of difference as a visually impaired person. And as we get older and our vision isn't as crystal clear and sharp as it once was, sometimes we don't need the latest and the greatest and the very best. We're just throwing our money away. Let the kids worry about that. Let them experience, you know, those kinds of lessons in life. When you go out and you buy a Maserati that'll do 185 and the speed limit is, well, it used to be 55, but now it's, I don't know, fast as you can go and not get caught. Hope you found this information useful. If you have some comments or some suggestions, please use the comment section down below. Consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Make it a great day now. Thanks. Bye.